Hey everybody, it's Allison. I'm Alley Cat Creations. How are you? I'm cold. It, it's March Madness. And um, a lot of um, storms are headed um, this weekend to a lot of states. Um, I think New York is going to get a lot next week. So please be safe if you're in the Midwest and the South and Southeast. Um, be careful. Um, today is like Epiphany Friday. So I've been reading the law of one, as we all know, I intermittently go in between. Um, I didn't, I'm still gonna read Carlos. But a very amazing viewer, anonymous. So I can't thank you. By Tony Rodriguez, series colony cavalier. I cannot wait to tackle this. I heard it was amazing. And I still have the other Elena Denon book I have to read with Valiant Thor. So I have a lot of reading I have to do. Um, but I really want to thank the person that um, got that for me. Um, that's amazing. As I am still getting, getting there with my favorite friend, and philosopher and I have like a bunch of other stuff I am mulling through but I'm not reading these things to just read them I'm putting everything in a focus of the here and the now and then as we're going through Carlos Castaneda and the dark night of the soul and learning sleepy kitty and learning how to process everything. I had an epiphany today I would like to share before I get into, because it ties in, I promise. <laughs> it ties in um, with the law of one. Um, and it actually also ties into a wasp bay. And Arthur Schopenhauer does a bit of it too. Um, back in my college time, I'm an artist. I went to art school and I one day did painting that looked like vibrations of colors, like very psychedelic kind of stuff. And I don't have really a good example here in this room. Um, I'll see next time I'll show a picture of it. And it went into like, my color theory process and vibrations and it it really i mean it hit the nail on the head and it's been hitting the nail on the head and today i really didn't think about it but the law of one made me go i was doing artwork i wasn't aware of that i was channeling and i didn't put the two and two together i didn't put the two and two that what i was doing 15 16 years ago had everything to do with what I'm working on now. Not a clue. It was meta my my basis of my artwork is metaphysics, my artwork. Um but I had no idea like to the extent with its oomphness. No idea. So today I've like light bulb, light bulb, light bulb. It's very illuminated. Incredible stuff. So I'm gonna read, this is book two. You can see I have a lot of, I need more, I have to find them. Before I get into that, please hit the like button. It's free, it helps get this stuff around and I'm starting to see more subscribers coming onto the channel because more people are hitting the like button. I'm 
gonna put this out there. I might not resonate with all the books with you. It's okay. I read and give my personal opinion about the, the subject matter. You don't need to agree with me at all. So please understand. And there are amazing people who have subscribed to my channel that leave amazing, mind-blowing comments that you could take a lot away from. So please check those comments out because there are very well-educated and well-read people on this page. So if you're someone who's new to the context and content of metaphysics, of looking beyond the paradigm of your box, looking outside of the box with especially religious content, but hearing religious content, not necessarily in a religious type of way, in a metaphysical way, in mathematics and science, quantum physics, quantum mechanics type of way. I'm not quoting scripture so much as I'm quoting directly from a channel from itself, okay? Just putting that one out there. Um, yes. Have Morgan over here in her in her new little spot, resting. Thank you for your prayers. She's day to day, but she's a grumpy old lady. And like the last video I did, she just kept jumping on as I'm reading. So I do apologize, but she's she's sensitive right now, and I don't want to bother her. So I'll just let her do her thing, her kitty cat thing. I'm gonna find the spot that I marked off because I did a few. Spirit gives me books I've had for years. I've had Urantia and I had a wasp for years. And I would open it up and read a couple of things and, and, you know, skim through everything. But I wasn't meant to read that then. I was meant to read it now because of the way my mind is thinking about things. And not because I couldn't comprehend it. Like I've read the law of one, but I didn't put it into the context of the things that need to happen now. And that's our ascension that's moving up consciously. I and another like light bulb. I mean, and I I I read things and I notice things, but this is just like how spirit sinks with me. Watch this. Book two with sessions 27 through 50 discuss densities or dimensions with emphasis of our third density here, where we stand now in the universe, and how to move into the fourth density. Concepts from Book one are expanded upon. I don't lie. What's happening right now? And this is again, I'm gonna read you in a second. What's happening? We're shifting and it's gonna go, some portions in here are gonna go into the chakras and the colors. And that might better explain when I say we're in a sub sub octave of four, it gonna, it's gonna describe like the colors. And that might be easier for me to explain than vibration and mathematics, which I suck at math. We all know that. And there is some math in here. So um, and the person that does the math knows exactly Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 Are we ready? Could you give me some idea 
of what conditions are like on fourth density negative or service to self planet. I think it's important to read this because of all the people who are going to jail. <clears throat> For mass genocide. They're a part of the script. So let's see where they're going. Raw. The graduation into fourth density negative is achieved by those beings who have consciously contracted intelligent infinity through the use of red, orange, and yellow rays of energy. Therefore, the planetary conditions of fourth density negative include the constant alignment and realignment of entities in efforts to form dominant patterns of combined energy. The early fourth density is one of the most intensive struggle. When the, old, when the order of authority has been established and all have fought until convinced that each is in the proper placement for power structure, the social memory complex begins. Always the fourth density effect of telepathy and the transparency of thought are attempted to be used for the sake of those on the apex of power structure. This, as you may see, is often quite damaging to further polarization of fourth density negative entities. For the further negative polar polarization can come about only through group effort. As the fourth density entities manage to combine, they then polarize through such services to self as those offered by crusaders of Orion, the ones who attacked us. You may, I'm gonna skip that part. Session 39, March 16th, 1981. Here's where the math comes in. Sort of. We're going to get there. Questioner. I noticed that most of the basic things seem to be divided into units, which total seven. And looking at a transcript by Henry Pucharch of the nine, I found a statement by the nine where they say, if we get seven times the electrical equivalent of the human body, then it would result in seven on of the mass of electricity. Could you explain this? Ra. To explain this is beyond the abilities of your language. We shall, however, make an attempt to address this concept. As you are aware, in the beginning of the creations set up by each logos, there are created the complete potentials, both electrical, in the sense the one you call Larson intends, and metaphysical. This metaphysical electricity is as important in the understanding, shall we say, of this statement as is the concept of electricity. This concept, as you are aware, deals with potentiated energy. The electron has been said to have no mass, but only a field. Others claim a mass of infinitesimal measure, but are correct. Both of them are. The true mass of the potentiated energy is the strength of the field. This is also true metaphysically. However, in your present physical system of knowledge, it is useful to take the mass number of the electron in order to do work that you may find solutions to other questions about the physical universe. In such a way, you may conveniently consider each density of being 
to have a greater and greater spiritual mass. The mass increases, shall we say, significantly, but not greatly until the gateway density. In this density, the summing up, the looking backwards, in short, all the useful functions of polarity have been used. Therefore, the metaphysical electrical nature of the individual grows greater and greater in spiritual mass. For an analog, one may observe the work of one known as Albert, who posts the growing to infinity of mass as the mass approaches the speed of light. Thus, the seven density being, the completed being, the creator who knows itself, accumulates mass and compacts into one creator once again. Questioner, then is the equation here, I am assuming MI is spiritual mass, MI equals M little zero C squared over one minus V two slash C squared. That is correct. Thank you. Can you tell me what the transmission from the nine means? CH is a principle which is the revealing principle of knowledge and of law. Can you tell me what the principle is? Ra, the principle is so veiled in that statement is but the simple principle of the constant or creator of the transient or the incarnate being and the yearning existing between the two, one for the other, in love and light amidst the distortions of free will acting upon the illusion bound entity. Questioner, was the reason the nine transmitted this principle in this form the first distortion? Rod, that is incorrect. Questioner, can you tell me why they gave the principle in such a veiled form then? Ra, the scribe is most interested in puzzles and equations. Questioner, I see the nine describe themselves as the nine principles of God. Can you tell me what they mean by that? Ra, this also is a veiled statement. The attempt is made to indicate that the nine who sit upon the council are those representing the creator, the one creator, just as there may be nine witnesses in the courtroom testifying for one defendant. The term principle has this meaning also. The desire of the scribe may be seen in much of this material to have affected the manner of its presentation, just as the abilities and preferences of this group determine the nature of the contact. The difference lies in the fact that we are as we are. Thus, we may either speak as we will or not speak at all. This demands a very tuned, shall we say, group. Okay, I'm going to go find where I'm going. Questioner, I sense that there is peripheral ground for investigation of our development in tracing the evolution of the body energy centers because these seven centers seem to be linked with all of the sevens that I spoke of previously. And these seem to be central to our own development. Could you describe the process of evolution of these bodily energy centers starting with the most primitive forms of life to have them? Basically, the beginning of this, Ra is like, I already explained this to you. The basic pivotal points of each level of development, that is, each density beyond second, may be seen to be as follows. Firstly, the basic energy of so-called red ray, your root. The ray may be understood to be the basic strengthening ray for each density. It shall never be con condescended 
to as less important or productive of spiritual evolution for it is the foundation ray. The next foundation ray is yellow. This is the great stepping stone ray. At this ray, the mind body potentiates to its fullest balance. The strong red, orange, yellow triad springboards the entity into the center ray of green. This is again a basic ray, but not a primary ray. Primary colors. This is the resource for spiritual work. When green ray has been activated, we find the third primary ray being able to begin potentiation. This is the first true spiritual ray and that all transfers are of an integrated mind, body, spirit nature. The blue ray sits the learnings teachings of the spirit in each density within the mind-body complex, animating the whole, communicating to others this entirety of beingness. The indigo ray, though precious, is that ray worked upon only by the adept, as you would call it. It is the gateway to intelligent infinity, bringing intelligent energy through. This is the energy center worked upon in those teachings considered inner, hidden, and occult. For this ray is that which is infinite in its possibilities. As you are aware, those who heal, teach, and work for the creator in any way, which may be seen to be both radiant and balanced, are those act activities which are indigo ray. As you are aware, the violet ray is constant and does not figure into a discussion of the functions of right activation in that it is the mark, the register, the identity, the true vibration of an entity. Questioner, is this also true of all of the other rays? Ra, the negative ray pattern is the red, orange, yellow, moving directly to the blue. This is only being used in order to contact intelligent infinity. In positively oriented entities, the configuration is even crystal, crystallinely clear and of the seven ray description. It's juicy. Session 40, March 18th, 1981. Notice we're in March. Questioner, I thought that I would make a statement and let you correct it. I'm trying to make a simple model of the portion of the universe that we find ourselves in. Starting with the sub logos, our sun. We have white light emanating from this which is made up of the frequencies ranging from the red to the violet. I'm assuming that this white light then contains the experiences through all of the densities. And as we go into the eighth density, we go into a black hole, which becomes on the other side, another logos or sun and starts another octave of experience. Can you comment on this part of my statement? Oh, my toesies are cold. Ra, we can comment upon this statement in an extent. The concept of the white light of the sublogos being prismatically separated and later at the final chapter being absorbed uh, again is basically correct. However, there are subtleties <clears throat> involved which are more than somatic. The white light, which emanates and forms the articulated sublogos, has its beginning in what may be metaphysically seen as darkness. The light comes into the darkness and transfigures it, causing the chaos to organize and become reflective or radiant. Thus, the dimensions come into being. Conversely, the blackness of the 
black hole. Metaphysically speaking, is a concentration of white light being symmetrically absorbed once again into the one creator. Finally, the absorption into the one creator continues until all the infinity of creations have obtained sufficient spiritual mass in order that all form, once again, the great central sun. If you would so imagine it, of the intelligent infinity awaiting potentiation by free will. Thus, the transition of the octave is a process which may be seen to enter into timelessness of unimaginable nature. To attempt to measure it by your time measures would be useless. Therefore, the concept of moving through the black hole of the ultimate spiritual gravity well, and coming immediately into the next octave, misses the subcontact uh, concept or corollary of the portion of the process, which is time. Questioner: Our astronomers have noticed the light from spiral galaxies is approximately 70, 70 times less than it should be considering the calculated mass of the galaxy. I was wondering if that was due to the increase of spiritual mass in the galaxy and what we call white dwarf stars. Ra, this is basically correct and is a portion of the way or process of creation cycle. Questioner, thank you. I was also wondering if the first density corresponded somehow to the red color, the second to the color orange, the third to the color yellow, and so through the densities corresponding to the colors, and perhaps a way so that the basic vibration, which forms the photon, that forms the core of an atom, and all atoms, particles, would have a relationship to the color and the density, and that the vibration would step up for second, third, and fourth density corresponding to the increase in the vibration of colors. Is any of this correct? Here we go. Ra, this is more correct than you have stated. Firstly, you are correct in, pos in positing a quantum if you will, as the nature of each density and further correct in assuming that these quanta may be seen to be vibratory natures corresponding to color as you grasp this world. However, it is also true, as you have suspected, but not asked, that each density is of the metaphysical characteristic complex of its ray. Thus, in first density, the red white, red ray, is the foundation for all that is to come. In second density, the orange ray is that of movement and growth of the individual. The ray striving towards the yellow ray of self-consciousness, manifestations of a social nature, as well as individual, third density being the equivalent and so forth. Each density being primarily its ray plus the attractions of the following ray, pulling it forward into evolution and to some extent coloring or shading the chief color of the density. So from second density, we turned yellow to third. Third is yellow but there's like an overlapping there. So it was like amber. And now that we're moving into green, the green is overlapping the yellow and the orange because some of us are still hmm. there. Questioner. 
Then bodily energy centers for an individual, assuming that the individual involves in a straight line from the first through the eighth density would then be activated to completion of if everything worked as it should, would each chakra be activated to completion and greatest intensity by the end of the experience in each density? It's really important. Ra, hypothetically speaking, this is correct. However, the fully activated being is rare. Much emphasis is laid upon the harmonies and balance of individuals. It is necessary for graduation across densities for the primary energy centers to be functioning in such a way as to communicate with intelligent infinity and to appreciate and bask in the light in all of its purity. However, to fully activate each energy center is the mastery of few, for each center has a variable speed of rotation or activity. The important observation to be made, once all activity centers are activated to the minimal necessary degree in the harmony and balance between these energy centers. Questioner, thank you. Taking as an example, the transition between second and third density, when the transition takes place, does the frequency of vibration, which forms the photon, the core of all particles of the density, increase from a frequency corresponding to second density or the color orange to the frequency that we measure as the color yellow? What am I getting at is, do all vibrations that form the density, the basic vibrations of the photon, increase in a quantum fashion over a relatively short period of time. Ra, this is correct. Then you see within each density, the gradual upgrading of vibratory levels. Questioner, this is a guess. Would the frequency going from second to third increase from the middle orange or average orange frequency to the middle or average yellow frequency? So he's talking about the hues and tints of the colors. I'm probably speaking silly because I have the glue in my teeth keep falling down and it's a mess, but I'm gonna persevere through that. Ra, this query is indeterminate. We shall attempt to be of aid. However, the frequency that is the basis of each density is what may be called a true color. This term is impossible to define given your system of sensibilities and scientific measurements for color has vibratory characteristics both in space time and in time space. The true color is then overlaid and tinged by the rainbow of the various vibratory levels within that density and the attraction vibrations of the next true color density. Questioner, how long was the time of transition from second to third density? A generation and a half, I believe you said. Is that correct? Rod, that, this is correct. The time measure in your years being approximately 1,350. That seems short. Then what will be the time of transition on this planet from third to fourth density? Hi, that's us. Hi, this is us, guys. Listen, I don't know if we're going to like this answer, though. Mind you, this is 1981. Mind you, so 41 years. Rah. This is difficult to estimate due to the uncharacteristic anomalies of this transition. Don't you say, there are at this space-time nexus beings incarnate which have begun fourth density work. 
However, the third density climate of the planetary consciousness is retarding the process. To all my sleepy little people out there who don't want to wake up, hi! You're retarding all of us from moving up. At this particular nexus, the possibility probability vortices indicate somewhere between 100 and 700 of your years as transition period. This cannot be accurate due to the volatility vol of your peoples of and at this space time. Thank you guys for setting us back. But guess what? Timeline has shifted since this book. Shifty shift. Questioner, has the vibration of the photon increased in frequency already? Ra, this is correct. It is this influence which has begun to cause thoughts to become things. As an example, you may observe the thoughts of anger becoming those cells of the physical bodily complex going out of control to become what you call the cancer. Questioner. I'm assuming that this vibratory increase began about 20 to 30 years ago. Is that correct? Ra, the first harbingers of this were approximately 45 of your years ago. The energies vibrating more intensely through the 40 year period preceding the final moment of vibratory matter, shall we say through the quantum leap as you would call it. Questioner, starting then 45 years ago and taking the entire increase of vibration that we will experience in this density change, approximately what percentage through this increase in vibr vibrational change are we at right now? Now this is 1981 speaking to us. Ra, the vibratory nature of your environment is true color, green. This is at this, at this time heavily overwoven with the orange ray of your planetary consciousness. However, the nature of quanta is such that the movement over the boundary is that of discrete placement of vibratory level. Questioner, you mentioned that thoughts of anger now are causing cancer. Can you explain on this mechanism as it acts as a catalyst or its complete purpose? Ra, the fourth density is one of revealed information. Selves are not hidden to self or other selves. The imbalances or distortions which are of destructive nature show, therefore, in most obvious ways, the vehicle of the mind-body-spirit complex thus acting as a teaching resource for self-revelation. These, Ill Ill these illnesses such as cancer are correspondingly very um, amenable to self-healing once the mechanisms of the destructive influence has been grasped by the individual. So basically what they're saying because I'm going to move on and giving yourself love and light, making sure you're high in vibration, that you're eating to what your body intake is, fasting, they mentioned fasting. And I mean, all the stuff the other spiritual people talk about with aligning your body, but that usually most people suffer 
in pain and have ailments of things due to like pent up trauma. Now, to an extent, I agree with that, but to a certain extent, I don't because we've been infiltrated here. Our food, our land, our air, everything that we consume is poisoned to an extent. It's not officially purified. I mean, every particle in the air that's going through has some form of junk in it. So it, it does play that when we get angry, we get upset. We build up anger and frustration and those things make us sick. But it also has a lot to do with what we consume and what we put in our bodies. Although because of my situation and not being able to eat more than once a day, some people um, donate to me food, but the cheaper stuff is what I don't want somebody to buy me some crazy expensive things. So I'm not eating as healthy, but I'm not in, I'm not in that much pain. I haven't really touched my pill bottle if I need it. And I don't like to go there but it's not spring yet and I can't pick weeds to, to make some fun stuff. So yeah. Questioner. I have one question of logistics to start with. I know that it is a dumb question, but I have to ask it to be sure. There is a possibility that we may have to move from this location. Will this affect at all our contact with Ra? Ra's like, there's no foolish question, but you have to purify your space and cleanse it. So if you're doing any meditation work, if you are working on your chakras, it's good to get the sage out, Palo Santo, so that you can channel the best, the purest, the brightest of lights. Now the fun. Questioner, in trying to build an understanding from the start, you might say starting with intelligent infinity and getting to our present condition of being, I think that I should go back and investigate our sun since it is the sub logos that creates all that we experience in this particular planetary system. Would you give me a description of our sun? Ra, this is a query which is not easily answered in your language for the sun has various aspects in relation to intelligent infinity. To intelligent energy, and to each density of each planet, as you call these spheres. Moreover, the, these differences extend into the metaphysical or time-space part of your creation. In relationship to intelligent infinity, the sun body is equally with all parts of the infinite creation, part of that infinity. In relation to the potentiated intelligent infinity, which makes use of intelligent energy, it is the offspring, shall we say, of the logos for a much larger number of sub logi. The relationship is hierarchical. You know what I'm talking about. In that the sub logos uses the intelligent energy in ways set forth by the logos and uses it free well, to co-create the, shall we say, full nuances of your densities as you experience them. In relationship to the densities, the body, the sun body, may physically, as you would say, be seen to be a large body of gaseous elements undergoing the process of fusion 
and radiating heat and light. Metaphysically, the sun achieves a meaning to fourth through seventh density according to the growing abilities of entities in these densities to grasp the living creation and co-entity or other self nature of this sun body. Thus, by sixth density, the sun may be visited and inhabited by those dwelling in time space and may even be partially created for moment to moment by the process of sixth density entities in their evolution. Now, my UFO enthusiasts and alien enthusiasts, there had been pictured craft coming in and out of the sun portal. Say what? Yes, there are entities that come in and out of the sun. That is correct. Densities. Questioner, in your last statement, did you mean that the six density entities are actually creating manifestations of the sun? in their density. Could you explain what you meant by that? Ra. In this density, some entities whose means of reproduction is fusion may choose to perform this portion of experience as part of the beingness of the sun body. Thus you may think of portions of the light that you receive as offspring of the of generative expression of six density love. Questioner, then could you say that six density entities are using that mechanism to be more closely co-creators with infinite creator? Rob, this is precisely correct as seen in the latter portions of six density seeking the experiences of the gateway density. Questioner, thank you. What I want to do now is investigate as the first density is formed, what happens and how energy centers are first formed in beings. Does it make any sense to ask if you if the sun itself has a density or is all denseless density? Or is that all densities? Ra, the sub logos is of the entire octave and is not that entity which experiences the learning teaching teachings of an ent of entities such as yourselves. Questioner, I'm going to make a statement of my understanding and ask you to correct me. I intu intuitively see the first density being formed by an energy center, which is a vortex. This vortex then causes these spinning motions that I have mentioned before of vibration, which is light, which then starts to condense into materials of the first density. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct as far as your reasoning has taken you. However, it is well to point out that the logos has the plan of all the densities of the octave in potential completion before entering the space-time continuum in first density. Thus, the energy centers exist before they are manifest. Questioner, then what is the simplest being that is manifested? I'm supposing that all might be single cell or something like that. How does it function with the respect to energy centers? Ra, the simplest manifest being is light or what you have called the photon. The relationship to energy centers, it may be seen to be the center or foundation of articulated energy fields. Questioner, things that make you go hmm. I'm serious, this is not easy stuff to tackle guys. Visualize it. 
questioner, when the first density is formed, we have fire, air, earth, and water. There is at some time the first moment or individualization of life into a portion of consciousness that is self-mobile. Could you describe the process of this creation of this and what type of energy center it has? Ra, the first or red ray density through attracted towards growth is not in the proper vibration for those conditions conducive to what you may call the spark of awareness. As the vibratory energies move from red to the vibratory environment in such as to stimulate those chemical substances, substances which lately have been inverted to combine in such a fashion that love and light being the function of growth. The supposition which you had earlier made concerning single-celled entities such as polymorphous dinoflagellate is correct. The mechanism is one of the attraction of upward spiraling light. There is nothing random about this or any portion of evolution. I, I have um, no idea what, and I'm sure it's something stupid easy, right? But we're gonna look up what is a polymorphous dino flagellate. Flag because I'm just curious. Any of an order of chiefly marine planktonic, usually solitary unicellular photoflagellates that include luminescent forms, forms important in marine food chains and forms causing red tide. Okay. Just so we're on the same page, because I don't know what any of that I mean, I have an idea, but I'm like thinking amoeba and not this polymorphous dino flag type. Okay, questioner. I was just commenting on this because it has the motion of our animal life with copper based cells yet it has an iron-based cell of a plant life indicating a transition from possibly plant to animal life. Am I wrong? My memory is a little fuzzy on this. Ra, it is not that you're incorrect, but that no conclusions should be drawn from such information. There are several different types of bases for conscious entities, not only upon this planetary sphere, but to a much greater extent in the forms found on planetary spheres of other sub logi. The chemical vehicle is that which most conveniently houses the consciousness. The functioning of consciousness is the item of interest rather than the chemical makeup of a physical vehicle. We have observed that those who you call scientists have puzzled over the various differences and possible interrelationships of various stages, types, and conditions of life forms. This is not fruitful material as it is that which is a moment's choice of your sublogos. Questioner, is this energy center then on a very small scale related to orange energy center in man. Ra, the true color is precisely the same. However, the consciousness of the second density being is primitive 
and the use of orange ray limited to its expression of self. Expression of self, which may be seen to be movement and survival. The third density at this time, those clinging to orange ray have a much more complex system of distortions through which orange ray is manifested. This is somewhat complicated. We shall endeavor to simplify. The appropriate true color for third density is, as you have ascertained, yellow. However, the influences of the true color green acting upon yellow rays entities have caused many entities to revert to the consideration of self rather than stepping forward into consideration of other self or green ray. This may not be seen to be of a negative polarization nature as a negative polarized entity is working very intensely with the deepest manifestations of yellow ray group energies especially the manipulations of other self for service to self. Those reverting to orange ray, and we may add these are very many upon your plane at this time, are those who feel the vibrations of true color green and therefore respond by rejecting governmental and societal activities as such and seek once more the self. However, not having developed the yellow ray properly so that it balances the personal vibratory rates of the entity, the entity then is faced with the task of further activation and balancing of self in relation to the self. Thus the orange ray manifestations at this time, at this space-time nexus. Thus true color orange is that which is without difference. However, the manifestations of this or any ray may be seen to be most various depending upon the vibratory levels and balances of the mind, body, spirit complexes, which are expressing these energies. Could you tell me the simplest and first entity to have both orange and yellow ray energy centers? Upon your planetary sphere, those having the first yellow ray experiences are those of animal and vegetable natures, which have the necessity for production by bisexual techniques or who find it necessary to depend in one some way or another selves for survival and growth. Questioner, and then what entity would be the simplest that would have red, orange, yellow, and green ray activated? Ra, this information has been covered in a previous session. To perhaps simplify your asking, each center may be seen to be activated potentially in third density. The late second density entities having the capability, if efficient use is made of experience, of vibrating and activating the green ray energy center. The third density being having the potential for complete self-awareness. Thus have the potential for the minimal activation of all energy centers. The fourth, fifth, and sixth densities are those refining their higher energy centers. The seventh density is a density of completion and the retor returning toward timelessness or foreverness. I could read this one. Questioner, then would an animal in second density have all of the energy centers in some way in its being, but just not activated? Ra, that this is precisely correct. Questioner, then the animal in second density is composed of light as all, are all things. What I'm trying to get at is the relationship between the light that the various bodies of the animal are created and 
the relationship of this to the energy centers, which are active and the ones which are not active and how this is linked with the logos. It is a different question to ask, can you give me some kind of answer? The answer is to redirect your thought process from any mechanical view of evolution. The will of the logos posits the potential available to evolving entity. The will of an entity as it evolves in single measure of the rate and fastidiousness of the activation and balancing of the various energy centers. Questioner, thank you. In the session from the day before yesterday, you mentioned variable speed of rotation or activity of energy centers. What do you mean by that? Ra, the chakras. Chakras. Each energy center has a wide range of rotational speed, or as you may see it more clearly in relation to color brilliance. The more strongly the will of an entity concentrates upon and refines or purifies each energy center, the more brilliant or rotationally active each center energy center will be. It is not necessary for the energy centers to be activated in order in the case of the self-aware entity. Thusly, entities may have extremely brilliant energy centers while being quite unbalanced in their violet right aspect due to lack of attention paid to the totality experience of the entity. The key to balance may then be seen in the unstudied spontaneous and honest responsive entities towards experiences. Thus, using experience to the utmost, then applying the balancing exercises and achieving the proper attitude for those most purified spectrum of energy center manifestation in violet ray. This is why the brilliance or rotation speed of the energy centers is not considered above the balance aspect or violet ray manifestation of an entity and regarding harvestability. For those entities which are unbalanced, especially as to primary rays, will not be capable of sustaining the impact of love and light of intelligent infinity to the extent necessary for harvest. In layman's terms, balance your chakras. There are so many binaural beats and each one flows. You ground to the earth, you ground to universe, you let it flow up and down and you imagine each one spinning and if one seems slower that's the chakra you focus on and there's lots of mantras and really fun things you can do visually or you can listen to binaural beats um and they have ones that go from red all the way to violet and you can go to sleep with them on and it helps so if anybody's looking to for that, that's what you can do. Questioner, can you tell me the difference between space, time, and time, space? Using your words, the difference is that between the visible and invisible, or the physical and metaphysical, using mathematical terms, as does the one you call Larson, the difference is that between S slash one and T slash S. Okay. Here we go. Thought it was on the other page. Questioner, why are the red, yellow, and blue ray, blue energy centers called primary centers? I think from previous material, I understand this, but is there more tracing of these primary colors back to intelligent infinity, more profound than what we have been, what have been given to us? 
Ra, we cannot say that what this may seem profound to an entity. The red, yellow, and blue rays are primary because they signify activity of primary nature. Red ray is the foundation, orange ray, the movement towards yellow ray, which is the ray of self-awareness and interaction. Green ray is the movement through various experiences of energy exchanges having to do with compassion and all forgiving love to the primary blue ray, which is the first ray of radiation of self regards of any actions from another. The green ray entity is ineffectual in the face of a blockage from other selves. The blue ray entity is a co-creator this may perhaps simply be a restatement of previous activity. But if you consider the function of the logos as representative of infinite, infinite creator in effectuating the knowing of the creator by the creator, you may perhaps see the steps by which this must be accomplished. Questioner, this may be too long for a question for the for this working, but I will ask it. And if it's too long, you can continue at a later time. Could you tell me of the development of social memory complex raw from its first beginnings and what catalyst it used to get where it is now in activation of rays? Ra, the question does not demand a long answer. For we who experience the vibratory densities upon the planetary sphere, which you call Venus, see I said, Ra was in Venus, we're, forming, uh, we're fortunate in being able to move in harmony with the planetary vibrations with a harmonious graduation to second, to third, and to fourth, and greatly accelerated fourth density experience. We spent, we spent much time space, if you will, in fifth density, balancing the intense compassion we had gained in fourth density. The graduation again became, sorry, again was harmonious in our social memory complex, which had become more firmly cemented in fourth density, remained of a very strong and helpful nature. Our sixth density work was also accelerated because of the harmony of our social memory complex, so that we were able to set out as members of the Confederation to even more swiftly approach graduation to seventh density. Our harmony, however, has been a grievous source of naivete, naivete, as regards working with your planet, <laughs> is there, oh gosh. They were naive when they were working with us, oops. I'm gonna hold it off there because that's a lot to take in. Um, but I really find it interesting um because i'm an artist looking at color and how when we look at uh not necessarily the color wheel but the spectrum of colors some people only see the flat color and some people like myself can see every variation of each color and what happens is the overlapping and the vibration of color until you hit the solid note color. So you have red and then you have until it reaches orange and then orange reaches yellow. And then we're like right now in like yellow green, like minty. Some of us are minty, some of us are in lime green, some of us are in that snot green color. Yeah. <laughs>
I know that's crazy to look at, but it's like the vibration and the colors overlapping each other and making new colors and forms. And that's how we're graduating up. So when I talk about going from third density, third dimension to fourth density, we're going up but we're overlapping. So the sub sub octave of where we are in fourth is still, you have your solid color in green and your yellow is still overlapping. And some people have their orange and yellow still overlapping. And some of these people might not graduate all the way into fourth. They might hang in, in this land. We're all still moving up, but it depends how long it takes each individual person to see compassion, love, and light. Um, I hope that helped. It might have not. Um, I will hopefully figure out if I can show a color comparison. Um, I've been looking for a chart that kind of shows the very, excuse me, the variation in color and into densities to move it forward. But we are moving up. Um, the world is going fat shit crazy right now. That's a good thing. And not to say that people are dying and things are happening. No, a lot of it's Some of it isn't. Remember, you can't trust the media. You can't believe everything you hear or see. But we're getting to that stage. So make sure you're backing up your files. I did a lot of that yesterday. I also revamped my page in a sense. So if you are looking for particular books, yeah, on the playlist page of the channel, now you'll be able to see Anunnaki, Emerald Tablets, Love One, Awaspe, Urantia, Dolores Cannon, the Keys of Enoch, and all the books that I read, but within the series. So if I don't do series on things, I'm just going to let it be in the playlist as an uploaded um like my spiritual stuff when i talk about grounding and i talk about star seeds and vision you know doing your visions and imagination how do you use them i do a bunch of other talks just ranting but doing a lot of spiritual things the cleansing one is big big because i show you different methods of and different tools to use not hard ones but so I'm going to keep those just as uploads, but the rest of everything is going to be put into the playlists that you can find on that page. So if you're not really into the law of one, but you are into your ranch job, now you know when I upload something, it'll be there if you want a quick look. Um, yeah. I want to thank all of you for supporting me, for watching, for the thumbs up, the few of you that do it. I love you though anyway for watching. Um, a lot of this stuff is not easy to understand, but I try conceptualizing everything and that's usually how I get it. Um, not everybody has that gift and it's okay. We are moving up. We're in a turbulent time right now. And the thing that you have to remember, and Ra's speaking to us in the here and now, because spirit wanted me to read this, stay out of fear. Things in this world are testing all of us right now. And many people are in the state of fear. I have a very good friend, a person I used to work with, who no matter how many times I'm like trying to get her to wake up to things, she's there, but she can't like put the motion into it. Like certain things are a narrative, sweetie. 
their propaganda. It's like, just stop. You're being told things, you're being shown things, and you're believing them to be true. But I'm telling you, they're not, and I'm showing you the evidence. And I, and you know, like I care for my friends, especially ones that understand me, not to, you know, not in its entirety, but a lot of people have brushed me off and the people who helped me that I used to work with, they're still to so many things. And especially in New York where everybody's just Netflixes and chills and watches TV and lets everything dictate to them how to think. I try waking people up and they're still like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. fear, don't let anything make you so scared that you're feeding loosh to these evil shits. Okay, don't let it happen. Nothing to fear, zero. Why, who's in control? That's it. Remember, we're all assigned to come here. We're opening up our consciousness. We're trying to understand the way the world is working in a mathematical, metaphysical way. Understanding the component of the infinite creator in terms of the law of one, each book gives you a different name, doesn't matter. Still the same idea and focus point. Sending all of you love and light. Thank you so much for supporting me in any way that you can. It's greatly appreciated. Um, I'm hoping that certain things happen worldwide very soon that we I don't have to talk about asking people to feed me and to help me pay my bills to keep the lights on. Um, thankfully, February's bills were paid. I am now working on March and the phone and some other things I might be able to take through because some of my bills happen on the first and then some of my bills don't. They have been mid month and I'm trying to get those covered. Internet's covered until April 1st. but I couldn't do this without you. I couldn't do the focus because I sit and I read the sections, see what spirit wants me to read. What do I feel? I look around in my bookshelves, I pick the book and then I dig in and it's all, it's all that. So I'm able to do that thanks to spirit and to thanks to all of you who I hope are, is some of this is resonating with you. Okay, I'm gonna stop ranting now. <laughs> again love and light to everybody until the next time have a wonderful and safe weekend bye guys